What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we have a nice surprise and that is a hobby box of 2019-20 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. I didn't expect to have any more of this, but an awesome guy hooked me up with a good price on some boxes, so I have some more Optic. And uh, the prices that have definitely gotten out of hand for wax nowadays, I mean, I think Blowout, which used to be cheap, now has them for like 450 bucks. Same with DA Card World and Seal City, all those places that used to be like the cheap online resellers. Uh, those places are now very expensive and now ebay is cheapest i think these go for like 375 385 on ebay um but so we'll just say like we'll say like 400 for now um to the middle of the two around there but yeah i mean prices fluctuate i don't know how this will pan out long term it could go up a lot i saw that hobby prism has gone up a lot so could happen the same for optic i know that i'm gonna rip my boxes because i rip my boxes pac-man rips packs i also don't like to hold boxes for too long i don't know i get antsy and then i just rip them so uh one auto and we're hoping that is as good as the auto we pulled in our first hobby box or maybe as good as what we pulled in uh the retail blaster so anything nice like that we'll be very happy 20 packs four cards per pack the srp is a hundred dollars i believe so once again resale is one thing but i would expect these and you know in general to be roughly around that uh that SRP in value. But Zion is the man. He's awesome. And uh, yeah, this box is bulging a little bit, as you can see. I think there's some like packs kind of stuck here. So I chose this one first because it's just, I don't know, unique. Also, I have this, my third out of my four mega boxes. Uh, if, you, if you guys want me to go live to rip this, let me know down below. Do you guys want me to do that? Because I was thinking, I've already posted two regular. Why not rip the third one live we can just chat and um you know slowly rip through this box and maybe we can get something nice maybe we get nothing but at least we got to rip some packs you know but yeah so let's get into this box one thing i did want to mention is uh now that optic season i guess if you want to call it optic season um is coming to an end for the most part like no more new not too much new stuff release from now on i think uh the optic white sparkle packs already released it was a sneak release on panini's site a bunch of people got them i did not but they were really expensive it was like three thousand points so i could maybe just have gotten one if if i did catch it and it's plus also plus shipping and stuff like that so it was pricey but um yeah now that i don't i'm not flooded with prism and optic videos anymore i won't be posting every single day i usually don't post every single day usually i only post like uh usually once or twice during the week and then on the weekends too like th four, three to five videos a week. So I was very lucky to have been able to been able to post uh, daily for a while. And if I have more videos that start building up, then you know once again they'll start coming out daily. But um, I hate to let you guys down, but yeah, we can't always do daily uploads. But uh, you'll you'll notice it if I start having a bunch of stuff kind of getting backed up in the in the line, then you'll notice a bunch of daily uploads. So I'll do that as much as I can. But we'll still have tons of good stuff. And yeah. So here's our stack of packs. If you haven't already, go check out our last video and also subscribe to the channel to be notified and uh, ring the bell to be notified whenever I post new stuff. And um, yeah, cool stuff. So let's get into this pack here. I'm also doing some um, videos on kind of the beginner stuff for collecting. I know that a lot of new collectors have entered the hobby uh, recently or come back into the hobby. And uh, you guys are asking, you know, for advice, you know, how things work nowadays what's what and i'm more than happy to help so if you have any ideas or questions you want asked in a video comment them down below and if um and maybe i'll get to it in a video but here's our first card it's a rookie of nasir little and um yeah just a base rookie i like this year's design it's clean i think that you know there's the prism design here's the optic design if optics design is constantly better than prisms optic who knows, maybe it overtakes Prism because Prism's uh, design this year, you know, it wasn't it wasn't that good. <laughs> RJ Barrett, the rookies, and Serge Ibaka. I think my biggest problem, you know, while Optic is so clean like that, Prism has like the whole top half is just way too busy. I think a lot of us didn't like those like sonar waves. It's just too busy. I mean, for lack of a better word. So like uh all right, good, it came off. There's like a line on that cam. But Cam Reddish, we have Hollow coming up. 
I like him. He's a good player. Uh, Reggie Jackson, the hollow, is a veteran of oh, Rudy Gay, one of my favorite players. And Paul Millsap. Also, stay tuned for Select, which is kind of like, I don't know. It's like the the third, it's like the third brother kind of in the, you know, Prism or Chrome family stuff. Uh, we have Kevin Gelly here. So Prism and Optic are the big boys. And then there's, oh, hey, there's, there's Select down there. But Select is still high up. Um, Jeff Teague, Ray Allen, Rainmakers. It's just Select hasn't caught on as much as Prism, obviously, which is number one, and then Optic in recent recent uh, recent year, I guess, but I would say, has really surged up. So Select, who knows? Maybe it, it catches up, but ooh, we have ooh, we have a pink velocity. Admiral Schofield. Admiral. Alright, come on, be a rookie. Ish Smith. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, baby. <laughs> Dang. 11 of 79. Oh, one off from jersey number. Ooh, man, I always hit one off of jersey number, but I'm not even mad, man. John Morant, pink velocity. Boom. Man, here I am sitting here having some fun, ripping some optic. And I just bumped the table, my bad. But ooh, I'm shaking. I cannot believe we just got a sick John Morant. I love those velocity ones. I once hit Alonzo Ball one back when he was supposed to be, I don't know, the truth. And then, I mean, he's a good player. He's not bad. But back when Alonzo Ball was supposed to be Alonzo Ball, and his dad was hyping him up as better than... Steph Curry and that he could beat Jordan. Not uh, not Lonzo, but LaVar. LaVar said he could beat Jordan. And all that stuff, that's when Lonzo's hype was crazy. And uh, I pulled a Lonzo ball pink velocity. The problem with that was um, optic color wasn't very highly coveted. So it wasn't really, it was a nice pull, but it wasn't really valuable at all, which is the crazy part. All right, I'm just magging up this card. If you guys haven't seen that video I made on the supplies and how I do everything, go check that out. And I'm just doing as I said. So I took the mag, I took a sleeve to put it over it so the surface doesn't scratch, and then I put the jaw in there. Centering looks solid. I think it definitely f favors the bottom a little bit and the left, but not like it's leaving my collection anytime soon. John Morant, go Grizzlies! Woohoohoo! Go Grizz! That is sick. Uh oh. And that means that this guy has to go, unfortunately. Check out my Instagram if you haven't already. And we'll put John the back. Nice. And we still have some packs left. So let's kind of just let, let him get another minute of fame. There we go. And now let's get back to our packs. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You can put me on the very, very happy list. And we still have an auto coming up, which who knows what that's going to be. It could be huge, could be not huge. Here's a solid rookie, Kevin Porter Jr. One thing I noticed is that every year before the draft class, we kind of like discredit the draft class, LeBron and Kyrie there. So like before the 18-19 class with Luca, with Aiton, Trey, Jaron, uh, Shea, so much talent, they were like, this class is not better than last year's with you know, Tatum, Mitchell, blah, blah, blah. And it's better. And then this year they're like, well, this class is not that good outside of Zion. And then it's a good class. So... I don't know. We'll see what happens. This class coming up isn't supposed to be that great. Tremont. <laughs> I almost forgot. Hey, there's the daily Tremont sighting. So actually, Tremont maybe means that we have something big coming. Not in this pack, though. <laughs> Brooke Lopez, hollow. De'Aaron Fox. There you go. And next one there. But anyway, I think LaMelo Ball... Um, Anthony Edwards, like a bunch of guys. Cole Anthony. I mean, there's definitely guys in this class, and we'll see how they play, obviously. But um, on paper, this class, once again, is supposed to be not good. But we'll see. Jeremy Lamb. Giannis. All cleared for takeoff. I feel like I get these uh, Giannis um, 
silver or hollow inserts all the time. I had most of his hollow, I mean not hollow, silver inserts from Prism. And then most of his, well not most, but a lot of his uh, hollow inserts from uh, Optic. Ty Jerome, Devin Booker, All-Stars Lillard, Jalen Brown. I realize we don't really have anything in this pile yet. I mean, that jaw should be there, but it's not because it goes in the back because it's so sick. All right. We have Nikhil, Damar, Elite Dominators, Ben Simmons, currently injured, and Bam Adebayo, first year All-Star. I think the only thing that can make this box better at this point is some Zion action. I'm not really going to ask for much more because we already got the job, but if I was going to pick one thing that's fair, I would say toss us a Zion base because I only have one, I think. Carson Edwards, rated rookie. Well, Marcus, come on, be a rookie. Be a... Uh, why did they put them upside down? Because now it's a spoiler. But sometimes they're not upside down because if you guys watched my first box, some weren't. Terry to 99. And our first card in this pile. Clint. And Optic is Optic awesome. Oh, oh I saw some uh, color, but it's just an insert. We have Bull Bull. We have Isaiah Thomas. Rainmakers, Joe Harris, and Jamal Murray. See, what I like is that the bait, the back card is always just a, a vet, so I can open it the way I like to, and, you know, the back card that's getting kind of pushed around isn't uh, getting dinged, really. P.J. Washington Jr. We have a hollow coming up. Damari Carroll. Oh, it's a rookie. Who is that? Admiral? Oh, Cam Johnson. Oh, sweet. Malik Monk? Oof. Sorry, Malik. Gotta be smart, man. Gotta be smart. But nice Cam Johnson. Um, oh, he was a high pick. For Phoenix, I believe out of UNC. All right. Nice, so we have a rookie hollow and we have a big jaw. So far, so great. And we're still looking for an autograph. Let's hit a Zion auto. I believe he's a redemption though, so that's gonna be a tough, tough, tough one. Jante Murray, and hey, there's Zion as the base rookie. Just what we asked for, so we got it. Then we have a lime, I believe this should be upside down of Bogdanovich, we have our Zion here. She has a little dent in the back. Oh, wait, no, just a piece of like dirt, I don't know, something like that. But nice, Zion base, thank you. Bogdanovich to 149. And Bagley, so we have some three nice cards so far. The Zion base goes for a good amount. The jaw is a not too bad of a card, it's, it's all right. And we have the cam. Tyler Hero. Oh, Steven Adams. And Hero is a solid one. Rainmaker's Joe Harris. So Panini really believes that Joe can shoot and he can. Lonzo Ball, speaking of him earlier. I said this once and I'll say it again. One thing that I think is missing from this product is the, uh, I think it's called a Captain clutch or crunch or crunch something it's or crunch time crunch time that's what it's called the uh, insert from regular don russ which was so nice i don't know why they didn't make an optic form of that because i thought it was so sweet cameron johnson we have a hollow oh it's a rookie is it jackson hayes it's jackson hayes oh almost dropped him but i caught him with my pinky sweet so we're getting two high pick hollows awesome so I'm two for two on hobby boxes, and now I'm, <laughs> at least for a, a little bit, I don't want to open any more boxes because um, I don't want to go two for three. I like being 
Jackson Hayes, this box is loaded. Man. And we just have five packs left. We're still looking for that auto. Could it be in this pack? Could it be behind Jackson Hayes? Nope. We have Elite Dominators, Deer and Fox. Spicy P. Four packs left. Here we go. We get that last pack mojo, maybe. Hey, a Kobe White. It's a guy who is hot, hot, hot lately. We have Justin Holiday. I'll put that here because he's a good player. And oh, oh, it's a rookie. Oh, 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 oh. Who is it? Is it Nunn? Oh my gosh, and a Kendrick Nunn too? Dude, Jabari Parker. Now this one's off-centered, but 73 of 199, Kendrick Nunn. Uh, these are technically error cards, I guess, because there's no name on the front. It's an unintentional error by Panini, but woo. Dude, this box is insane. And this is his first rookie card because he was not in any other product before this. Wow. I mean, I almost feel like I'm cheating out every other box on, on planet Earth if I get a good auto in here. Or if I get an auto in general. I mean, this stuff is hot. We have two high pick rookie hollows, a Kendrick Nunn of all players to get um, orange. And unfortunately, the centering is, is pretty bad. I mean, left to right, it's, it's acceptable. But look at that. I mean, it's super thick here and it's super thin there. But... I don't care because I like the card, so it's still nice. Man, four sick cards, two big hits. I would consider that none pretty pretty big because uh, his stuff's going for a good amount. Darius Garland, so we got another another top rookie there. Put him here. Miles Turner, Stargazing PG, and John Wall. All right, let's see if we can get that last pack mojo. Uh, should we take? Mm. We'll go. Yeah, you know, we'll go in the order we started with. What if we get no auto? Entirely possible. And in my first hobby box, the auto was not backwards, so I don't know. Isaiah Roby, DeAndre Jordan, Miles Bridges. All right, so let's see if it's last pack mojo or if it's no auto. Here we go. Mm, I don't know, guys. Oh, it, there is, it's a sticker autograph. Okay. We have Mo Bamba. Uh, Giannis. Get tons of Giannis inserts. I'm not expecting anyone huge on this autograph at all. It's red and it's white. Maybe it could be Kendrick Nunn. Oh, Nasir Little. Hey, I'll take that. I mean, he's not bad. High potential guy. Signature series. The only autos you really want from Optic are those on-card rated rookie autos, but I mean, after that box, I would consider that a cherry on top. So now let's do that famous recap and look at everything we got, and we certainly got a good amount of stuff. Wow. This box was, was excellent. So now, question for you guys. Which box was better, box one or box two? So here's our inserts, and you, we got tons of decent stuff. You get lots of inserts, parallels, rookies, Jackson Hayes, Cam Johnson, Tyler Hero, which I'll put in there. PJ, who's a really good player too. Bull Bull, Edwards, two more good guys. Um, and uh, KPJ. I think that's, oh, Cam Reddish, and oh, RJ Barrett. That's such a solid card. I don't know why I forgot him in. Little. So Little was in the first pack, I believe, and Little was in the last pack. <laughs> He's the first and the last. All right, now let's get into the highlights, and there were plenty. RJ Barrett, the rookies. That's nice. Tyler Hero, rookie. Nasir Little autograph, Darius Garland. Kendrick Nunn, orange to 199. Kobe White, rookie. Jackson Hayes, hollow. Rudanovich. And Zion, I forgot about that. Cam Johnson Hollow and Scary Terry. And that is it. Nothing else except, oh, this guy. Ja Morant. Woo hoo hoo.
So let's one, two, three, four. These two are honorable mention. I mean, they're nice, but these are so nice. Nun and Jaw are huge. These two are just, I mean, a gift and always, whenever you get a Zion base, especially from a product like Optic or Prism, that's a big dub. So I'm super pumped. And unfortunately, all these guys have to go. You can't be in this part of the video because this one, just for Jaw. Boom. If that was jersey number, I would have, I don't know, you would have seen me just faint and this video would just go on forever and ever because I'd never wake up. If, oh man, that's so nice. John Morant, I have his Prism to 299. Now I have his Pink Velocity to 79. I don't know why they always numbered to something nine, but they are super, super awesome. That box was loaded. So guys, comment down below which was better, box one or box two? And I do have some more boxes, so stay tuned. Man, excellent stuff. I'm so happy. I'm like a kid on Christmas. So that'll do it. Boom, super long video, but for a, for a good reason. And man, man, am I happy. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.